On February 18th, 2017, Shark documented the latest cruel live pigeon shoot held at the Philadelphia Gun Club, which is located in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. The gun club is notorious for holding live pigeon shoots where birds are forced into small boxes, then launched into the air and shot for fun. The gun club borders the Delaware River, so we set up in a public park in New Jersey and legally flew our Angel drone over to the Pennsylvania side of the river. Here you see the gun club's workers dealing with crates packed with pigeons. The workers, who arrived in a car from Virginia, are so reckless that one crate crashed to the ground. The birds are kept in an underground storage cellar below the shooting arena. Watch how cruel the workers are as they pushed, and in one case kicked, crates filled with birds down a flight of stairs. They showed complete disregard for the abuse and injuries inflicted upon the dozens of animals stuffed in those crates. In one incredibly sad incident, this worker took a wounded but still a living bird and shoved her into a garbage bag. You can see the bag moving, meaning she was alive and slowly dying. These incidents constitute violations of Pennsylvania's anti-cruelty statute and we are calling on these workers to be prosecuted. The Philadelphia Gun Club itself must be held accountable for the repeated acts of cruelty committed during their shoots, such as when we filmed this underage boy torturing pigeons last year. He was charged with and pled guilty to animal cruelty charges. On that subject, there is a very real concern about the use of underage children as workers for the gun club's shoots. Here are the two boys who did the walkthrough on the 18th, where they picked up and killed wounded pigeons. They both appear to be very young. This situation needs to be investigated and the gun club held accountable for any violations found. Here is what our Angel aircraft looked like as it filmed the shoot. This footage was taken by our investigator while on the river. The flight was legal and the operator a licensed drone pilot. During an early flight, someone participating in the pigeon shoot fired at Shark's drone, hitting the camera and props. Though the drone was able to make it back, it suffered significant damage. Later that day, a second drone was hit by gunfire. Intentional destruction of property is unlawful, and under 18 U.S.C. 32, shooting a drone is also a federal crime. Shark is demanding that whoever shot the drone be held criminally liable and that the gun club identify the shooter. On top of all the illegal acts we have already shown you, this shooter drove to the club with covered plates. He was about to turn into the club, but at the last second turned away and drove down the road. A few minutes later he returned and went in, but there's no question he violated the law by driving on public roads with a covered plate. The only question is, when will local or state law enforcement finally hold violators such as this shooter accountable for his actions? Even though there is enormous public opposition to pigeon shoots, they continue only because of corrupt politicians and officials who support them. Shark will continue to expose these cruel events and the cowards who participate in them.